What is readily apparent is that Cyprus proves out the old adage that what does not kill you serves to make you stronger. Um, the Cyprus economy has gone through a transition over the last few years and the result is that our economy today is uh, more robust, more diversified and definitely more competitive than it ever has been before. And at a time of transition in a post-Brexit Europe, as well as changes here in the US and, and around the world, um, it's, uh, Cyprus is positioned to be a unifying force for cooperation and stability in, um, in our important region of the East Med, but also beyond. I think one of the key focuses that uh, today's conference is about, beyond the, the opportunities that, that Cyprus offers uh, for investment and, and business opportunities, is more about the regional cooperations and our ever-strengthening relationships, both bilateral and trilateral, that Cyprus has forged, cover a myriad of strategic areas of cooperation, all of which bring with them opportunities. Um, and perhaps the most catalytic and impactful of those is the energy sector. And I think um, the next 12 to 24 months uh, are going to be um, very important in that area. Listen, as, as we've said, um, as we said in the past, um, given Cyprus's strategic location, the fact that it's a European Union, and, uh, and as I mentioned earlier, within the context of a post-Brexit Europe, given that we are a Commonwealth nation, but uh, a Euro, a Euro, uh, Eurozone member, uh, Cyprus, I think, provides a unique combination of opportunities for international firms. Uh, regardless of the areas of activity and um, on the one hand you may say that you know the advantages speak for themselves but it's important for us to reach out and to ensure that we you know educate our counterparts and uh, provide um, um, support for their activities and I think it um, organically will grow as time goes forward um, we, we're doing very well and we will do better as time goes forward.